Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel SFDC Panther. This is Amit and in this video we are going to talk about object level security. In our earlier video we have talked about uh, organization level security, now, what happens behind the scene when you try to log in using a user interface or any external service provider, identity provider. So if you remember in our previous video we considered our home as a Salesforce environment. So in this video we will consider our room as a Salesforce object. So once you have got the access to your ho home or you have got the access to your Salesforce environment, you wanted to access some rooms, you wanted to access some objects, what happens behind the scene and what are all the validations that Salesforce perform behind the scene that we are going to see in this video. So let's quickly see what happens. Suppose that you are logged in into your system and now you are trying to access an object called ABC what all validation will Salesforce check is at very initial or at very first step Salesforce is going to see if you have if your profile have at least read access to that object if that is the case you will be able to see that object if that is not the case you will neither be able to see the object and you will never be able to see the records of that object as well and if that is not the case, Salesforce is going to perform another level of validation where they will check if your profile have any of these permissions enabled, either modify all data or view all data. If that is the case, then you can access your profile, uh, you can access the object that you are trying to work with. And if this is also not the case, Salesforce will check another level of permission, which is permission set label. That means Salesforce will check if your user have any permission set assigned to you by which you have got the permission for that object at least read access. If that is the case, you will get the access otherwise Salesforce will say insufficient privilege. So let's quickly see how it is going to work in Salesforce in actual scenario. Okay, so I have this profile system administrator where I have assigned my user which is security control uh, that is not the actual admin user but for the demo purpose I have created a new user which is having the uh, pro profile called system administrator cloned and this user have one permission set I am going to remove this permission set to show you how all the validations are going to perform by the Salesforce okay so let's start with the very first step Let's remove the object level permission at a profile and then see what will happen. So what we are going to do is as you can see that we have got this object called error log. I have opened this object and we have okay we don't have access to this object as of now. You can see that means any of those three permissions are not enabled at a profile level or at a permission set level. So what we will see is we will try to check one by one. Okay, let's quickly try to check here for the object called error log. You can see at a profile level there is no permission enabled for that object. As of now I'm going to enable minimum read permission to show you how it is going to uh, display that object to you and how you can access that record for that object. So as soon as you can see we've got this tab error log over here and if you go to this error log tab refresh this you can see we are able to see the records for that object as of now and if we open this record over here there is no operation that you can perform because you have got only read only access and now what we will do is as we are we have already seen that we are not able to access but again we will just quickly remove that permission for that error log so that you can see that that is happening because of that permission there is no permission and user is not able to access that record. So we are just going to remove this. You can see now we got insufficient privilege error. That means the first step is saying that you don't have access. Now let's talk about this second step where we are saying view all data and modify all data. So first we will enable the permission called view all data which is at profile level okay so you can see that you have got this permission called view all data so as soon as you check this checkbox what will happen behind the scene it is going to enable two permission for 
every single object which is available for your Salesforce environment. The first permission is view all and second permission is read. So if you scroll down, you remember that we have removed the permission for error log. Now you can see we have got this view all permission, right? Now I will show you again. Let's quickly remove all these. Uh, I'm just removing the permission for some random objects and you will be able to see the magic. Now as you can see that we have disabled permission for few objects. If we go back and check the permission for view all data, the checkbox is unchecked. Why? Because view all data says if you want me to be enabled at a profile level, I am going to enable two permission for every single object. What are all those permissions? Just check this checkbox, scroll down and you will be able to see view all and read permission is enabled for all the objects we have removed the permission. So as soon as you save this and you will get back to your tab and you refresh this, you will be able to see that object. Again, it is a read permission. You cannot modify, you cannot do anything. Okay, now let's talk about another permission which is modify all data. What magic this permission do at an object level is? Modify all data. As soon as you enable this checkbox, it is going to enable all the permissions for every single object available inside your Salesforce org. I just enabled it, I scroll down and you can see every single permission for all the objects has been enabled. And if I remove any permission, that checkbox is going to be unchecked. If you go back here, you see modify all data. You can see the checkbox is unchecked. Just check this checkbox, save this. And you can just, after saving this, you can just refresh this page. And you will see now you have got edit, delete, clone, every single button. You go to tab and you will be able to create a new record from here as well. That's how this view all data and modify all data work. Now there are, you might have noticed while we were playing around with the permissions, you might have noticed that there are similar permissions like modify all data, modify all. What is the difference between these two? So modify all data deals with all the objects as this permission name itself states, modify all data. All means the complete Salesforce environment. If you have that permission enabled, it is going to, you can do anything with the complete Salesforce org. You can modify everything. You can create, delete, clone, edit, everything you can do with the objects and records. And when we talk about modify all, that is related for a particular object only. If you say modify all for this object only, for the accounts, it is going to say, it is going to enable all these four permission except create. It is not going to enable this create permission for account object. Now, if we save this, even if we see this modify all data, the checkbox is not checked. And if we save this, right, and try to go back to account record and see what happens, either we are able to create a new account record or not. We'll, we will not be able to because that create permission is not enabled at object level. So if you go back here, you can see there is no new button for that account object. So that's the difference between modify all data and modify all. And then again, if you have noticed, there is one more, two more similar permissions, view all, view all data and view all. Again, the same goes with these. View all means if you all, that is related to a particular object and view all data means that is related across all the data inside your Salesforce environment. These are the two permissions that it states. And along with these two permissions, modify all data and uh, view all data, there is a question that occurs at an interview, interview time. Can we enable record level permission with the help of a profile? Or can we control record level permission with the help of a profile? Because most of the people know that uh, uh, record level permissions can be controlled either from role hierarchy, OWD, or sharing rules and any other uh, uh, more other things are there we are going to talk about those uh, in detail in our next video but those are the few things that you can no one says at a profile level but the answer is yes why the answer is yes first thing is that if you don't have access at a profile level for that object you cannot access that object 
no matter what OWD is, who is, what is your role, no matter how the record has been shared to you or not. If you have access at a profile level, then only you will be able to access the object. Second thing is that if you enable any of these permission at profile level like modify all data or view all data, it automatically gives you the access to all the data inside Salesforce. No matter you are owner or not, you, what is your role hierarchy, if you are on the below of the role hierarchy, nothing does matter. If you have these two permissions enabled, you can access anything inside Salesforce org. Anything means any data. So this is how if someone asks you like, can we control record level security from a profile? Yes, we can do that. And this is the reason, this is the explanation what I just told you, okay? Now let's quickly talk about the third permission, which is access using permission set label. Suppose that we don't have access for this object to using either modify all data or view all data. So how we are going to access? The Salesforce will check if you have any permission set enabled at your profile and that permission set ha have access to that object, at least read access, you will get the access, else you will get the error. How? Let's quickly edit this profile, remove the permission for error log object and then we have one permission. So I will just remove the read access from the error log. We will just save it and after saving we will try to access this again so that we can see. Okay, so if we remove this here, you can see we don't have any access, right? Now what we will do is we have one permission set and that permission I named as error log and in this permission if you go to object setting and under that object setting if you go to error log I have given this read permission you can see here so what I what permission I have given is I have given that the tab is visible the permission is read and all the read and edit permission for these fields even though I have given edit permission that it's not going to matter if you are have read access, you cannot edit those fields. That is true. So if you go to manage assignments, I haven't added that user, right? I will just go ahead and add assignments and add this security control, assign. And as soon as click on done, you see that we have got this error log. And if I go back to error log, refresh this, I can see I have gotten that access to that object no edit, nothing but yeah, I can see that record. So this is how object level security works inside Salesforce. At a three level, the permissions are being checked by the Salesforce behind the scene. And if you have access, then only you see the object, then only you see the tab, then only you can see the records. And uh, otherwise you get that error called insufficient privilege that we have seen uh, while we are doing the demo. So this is it for this video. And before I go ahead, please like, share, subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions, put into the comment section. Thank you.